In this video, you'll be learning about how to find the area of the walls with windows and a door. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so let's start off by reading the question and understanding what we know from the question. So if you take a look at this question, we see that the dimensions of the room is given. So we know that the dimensions of the room is distributed by the length, width, and the height. And we know that the length is 10 meter, the width is 8 meter, and the height is 5 meter. So let's jot that down. The length is 10 meter, the width is 8 meter, and the height is 5 meter. Now, continuing from this, we also see that this room has two windows, each measuring 1.5 meter times 1 meter. So let us draw two windows here. I'm going to draw two windows. First window and the second window. And we know that each of the windows are 1.5 meter. So we know that this is 1.5 meter times 1 meter. And this is also 1.5 meter times 1 meter. All right, guys. And this room also has two doors. So I'm going to draw the doors now. So let's say I have a door right here. I have a door right here. It's door 1. And this is door 2. And the dimensions of the doors are 2.5. Let's say this is 2 meter and 2.5 meter and this is 2 meter and this is 2.5 meter the reason i'm doing this so the students can visually see it and which will make the solution that much easier so now they're asking find the cost of whitewashing the walls of the room at 20 baht per square meter so we know that one meter square is equal to 20 baht so we know this. this this is the cost and we got to find the total cost now if you look at my previous video you'll see that when we talk about uh, area there's two types of areas the total surface area which includes six faces and the lateral surface area which includes four faces that means we would not include the top and the bottom in the lateral surface area so in this question if you see if you think about it properly we are not going to be whitewashing the the floor and the ceiling. They are only talking about the walls. So when we talk about the walls, we are talking about the left hand side, the right hand side, and then we are talking about the front and the back. Okay guys, so front, back, left, right, which means the lateral surface area. So first of all, let us find the total area of the four walls. So the lateral, lateral surface, area is the front back and the left right which is two so let's let's talk about this how do we find the area of the front the front is the length multiplied by height right so the front and the back will be two times length times height plus the left and the right would be the width here multiplied by the height so it'll be two times width times height since we are talking about two sides so step one let's find the lateral surface area or the total area of the walls so we have the length is 10 meter the width is 8 meter and the height is 5 meter so all we got to do is substitute it now so let's start out by substituting it we would have 2 times 10 meter times 5 meter which is 2 LH plus 2 times the width is 8 meter and the height is again 5 meter and when we when we multiply this we would have 2 times 10 is 20 20 times 5 give us 100 meter square plus 2 times 8 is 16 16 times 5 would give us 80 meter square so the area of the walls would be 180 square so this is the area of the walls but 
In these walls, we also have two windows and two doors, which we would not be painting. So what we got to do is we got to find the area of the windows and the doors and then subtract it from the area of all of the walls. So step one, we have found out the area of the walls. Now we got to go ahead and find the area of the windows. So let's find area of windows. So what we can do is, since we know both of these windows have the same length and the same width, we can find the area of one window and multiply by two. So let's start off by finding the area of this window. We see that the length is 1.5 and then the height is 1 meter. So area of windows would be 1.5 meter multiplied by 1 meter and then multiplied by 2 since there are two windows, which would give us 1.5 times 1 is 1.5 and then 1.5 multiplied by 2 would give us 3 meter square. Okay guys, so this is the area of the windows. Now we also have two doors which we will not be whitewashing because there are, we will only be whitewashing the, the walls but it excludes the windows and the doors. So let's find the area of doors. So again the dimensions of the doors are equal so we can we can find the area of the doors by finding the area of one door and then multiplying it by two. Alright guys so if we take a look at this we see the dimensions are 2 meter times 2.5 meter so we can write it as 2.5 meter times 2 meter and multiply by 2 as there are two doors and 2.5 meter times 2 meter would give us 5 meter square 5 meter square times 2 would give us 10 meter square now what we can do is we can find the area of we can find the area that should be whitewashed so let's write here area of white wash would be so how do we find the area that must be whitewashed so it is the total area of the walls minus the area of the windows and the doors so we have area of the walls is 180 meters square minus 3 meters square and then minus 10 meter square so in other words 180 minus 3 would give us 177 meter square minus 10 meter square which would give us 167 meter square so now we have found the area that must be whitewashed now the question the final final question asking find the cost so we know that we know that it costs 20 baht per square meter now we got to find the total cost how can we find the total cost so we know that we know that 1 meter square is equal to 20 baht the total area that must be whitewashed is equal to 167 meters square so the total total cost would be 167 multiplied by 20 now let's use the help of a calculator let's use the help of a calculator to find it so we have 167 times 20 which would give us which would give us 3340 so the total cost to whitewash these walls would be 3340 baht Hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, as usual if you enjoyed it please press a like and then please subscribe so you will not miss any videos that I post in the future. Until next time, have a nice day guys.